Hey, hey, everybody. I have been hearing kind of the same comment over and over from several people that they feel so stressed out. If you're watching this live or on replay, uh, put it in the comments. How are you feeling? Do you feel like that there's just way too many things to do in a day. Uh, you're trying to grow your online business. You're taking care of your family. Uh, you might have another job you're doing and you just feel so weighed down. There is so much. Plus on top of that, there's all these extra uh, trainings and courses and coaching, all that kind of stuff. And you just, do you sometimes feel like you're losing your mind? Let me know in the comments uh, if that is you. Well, I just wanted to show you a fun little, um, spreadsheet. If you're inside of my paid membership group, my DBA prep school, Digital Business Academy prep school, it's only, uh, I think it's only seven bucks a month. Uh, basically, I give you the tools and resources to help you create some systems around your business so that you can actually grow it. And of course, my premium uh, people in my DBA or Digital Business Academy, they also get this um, but it is a spreadsheet that you could create yourself. The whole idea is when you are mapping out your day, your week, your month, uh, are you being intentional on the things you're trying to get done? So, you know, we all have these different goals, but at the end of the day, you know, your to-do list could go on and on and on and you never feel like that you finish the day. Let me know if that's you. Here's the secret. You need to identify what I call the top three must thing, must do things in your business and maybe the top three things in your home life, your family life, all of that kind of stuff. Then coupled on top of that, you might have some, you know, uh, goals. You might want to exercise for 30 minutes or, uh, you know, drink eight glasses of water, whatever it is. So whatever your goals are, the first thing that I want you to think about is chunk it down. Don't try to do everything in one day. Identify those top three things and then work towards that. Now I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you this delicious little spreadsheet uh, that I will be sharing with my members. And again, uh, you know, if you're not a member and you're not quite at that point yet, no worries. Uh, this is easy to uh, recreate. At the end of the day, you just need something to help you track your activities. So this little spreadsheet, doesn't that look beautiful? I just love the colors. It's kind of springy looking. I should put some flowers along the bottom. There's two tabs. The first one's just start here, basically just reminding you, uh, you know, make a copy of it. If you want to join us in the DBA group, uh, you're welcome to do that. And then uh, it's called a habit tracker, but it's like a goal tracker or your daily tracker, okay? And let me make this just a little bigger because I realize that sometimes uh, when I do these videos, it's kind of hard to see. So how do you use this? Uh, the first thing is, which is really cool, up here to get started, you just put in the date. So we're almost to the end of March. So let's just let's uh, hit April, hit the ground running and set up our uh, little goals and our daily tracker. So you just put whatever date. And when you change the date here, these dates will change correctly. Uh, you know, so if you wanted to start in May, change that. Uh, so every month you could either make a copy of this so you could like look back to see what you've accomplished or just change the date and redo it. All right. That's the first thing you need to do. And then the second thing is just start writing what you are trying to track. And here, here's a tip for you. Remember I said uh, you need to chunk things down and pick like the top three things. What I would do is I would pick the top three things that I'm trying to focus on for my health. Then uh, I am actually just going to delete this. And then the top three things that I'm working on uh, for my business. So maybe my social media um, daily posts. Okay, so maybe that's one that I'm trying to do. And then um, a second one, maybe I want to uh, visit three groups a day. Okay, um, and then uh, the third one, maybe I want to uh, spend 20 minutes um, learning XYZ. Okay. <laughs> just going to delete this. So do you see how you can just kind of divide it up into categories if you want? And then uh, let's say you are planning a launch. So every day you're going to cut up the uh, assignments that you have for that launch. So maybe every day you want to, uh, we'll just say, um, sales page creation. Am I going to work on that? And then I'm also going to uh, write 
uh, one email. So maybe you're going to set up an email campaign and then um, let's just say um, spend 10 minutes in Canva. I don't know, just making up stuff here. Let me delete this. And then you've got extra lines here. So this is one way that you could use this. It's called a habit tracker, but you could also call it your goal tracker. Just little mini bite sized things of what, what you're trying to track. And so these first things here, basically, um, let me just turn all these off here so you can see how this works. So I'm going to uncheck everything. I guess I could have selected everything at once. So when you start out with a clean slate, so to speak, there's nothing tracked. So April hit the ground running. And so every day I want to journal for 10 minutes. Check. I'm done. Uh, every day I want to spend 20 minutes on skill development. Check. Uh, every day I want to go outside for 30 minutes. Check. Okay. And then for my social media, uh, okay, maybe I visited my three groups today uh, and I'm working on my sales page. And, and again, maybe, maybe my goal is I'm going to be doing 30 minute chunks in all of these activities. Okay. Uh, so then as you can see here, the little bar chart starts growing uh, based on how much activity um, that I've done. The nice thing also, as you go through the month, you can check to see, oh, look, journaling for 10 minutes. Um, I really, I did pretty good. Okay. Uh, some of the other things may be uh, going outdoors, especially if it's not real warm. Okay. So you can see uh, how this works. Again, super simple little spreadsheet. If you're not in the groups, uh, where I offer this. I also sell this on Etsy. So if you want to just uh, snag it, you can do that. Let me uh, shrink down here just so you can see the, the big picture. So it's, it's that simple. Basically, you need to start with planning, write something down, and then just use something to hold you accountable. And in this instance, we're using the spreadsheet to hold us accountable. If you want uh, even more accountability when you're inside of my groups, then we can certainly hold your feet to the fire, so to speak. All right. So let me come back here and hide this from the screen and come back here to you. So I just wanted to share that with you. For my uh, peeps inside of the Digital Business Academy Prep School, the challenge, especially when you're new to businesses, you probably feel like there's so much to do, so much to learn. But instead of getting weighed down with all of that, I want you to focus on just two or three tangible things and build up a rhythm. And then when it becomes a true system, you know, you won't have to check it off because you know that every day you're going to hop into social media and uh, do your posting. Every day you'll hop into your groups and uh, share some tidbits, things like that. All right. Does that make sense? All right. Hope this was useful. Let me know if you're watching this on replay, uh, that you've watched it. Uh, if you want to get your hands on the spreadsheet, let me know and I'll share the link with you. All right. Take care.